everyone and welcome back to Goldcrest Valley. Uh, we got a bit last night. I spent uh, some time doing some missions, uh, did a bit of combining and fertilizing uh, with a variety of equipment. Uh, as you can see, I'm trying to get some working cash for us for today's episode. Um, now I think I ended up with about 50, 52,000 at the end um, of all of it. I uh, also fast forwarded the day to 5 o'clock the following morning. I uh, did all the fertilizing last night before I did that obviously. And our fields are now ready to harvest. So I've actually got the worker uh, in on the, on the Massey Ferguson going at the moment. And I've just been up and bought our Agriliner trailer. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to start carting our wheat uh, over to the train station. Because Maplefield, I think it's Maplefield. It's the Maplefield Mill. Um, it's got a good price on wheat at the moment. Uh, it's the highest and it's going to make it a lot quicker to transship it like that through the train again. As we did in a previous episode. So we're going to get on with that. As you can see, here's our agro liner. All ready to go. Holds 21,000 litres. It's got a hitch on the back uh, so we can hook it on to our other tipper. It's, it'll take me a little bit to hook it on I think. But... Hopefully it's not too bad. Uh, this way. I would think. Oh. I think the uh, the Massey Ferguson almost nearly needs to be emptied. I would think. Um, so after I hook this on, we'll go up and do that. This is why I never use these. Okay, let's just make this a lot easier. One reason I don't really particularly like that brand of Agroliner, or that model of Agroliner, because uh, same with this paper. Pop him over here again. It's one reason I don't like it. Because of how long it takes to... Oh, it's not so much... That, oh, that should be alright. It's, it's straight. Oh, yeah. Take the covers off. Yep, and as you can see, the Massey Ferguson has stopped. We're just going to make him stop filling up so he... Oops. Yeah, it's... Just pull up forward, try and make him... Yep, there we go. Being blocked by an object. There's no one in front of you. Really? Why is it not liking that? It's taking a lot longer than I thought it would. nothing in front of it. I don't know what it's triggering off, but uh, I'm going to fill the rest of it up. I 
I reckon we're going to stick like a shed here on this grass, see if we can do that. I don't know how to work, but grass will probably come back through the floor, I would think. This tractor may struggle a little bit with what we're going to do too. What should we got in stock? Another 30,000, so we've got enough for another trip after this. Miss my old uh, one of my oh, bit of a slingshot there. One of the mods I had an FS15 in the top left corner. I can't, I can't remember what it was called. It was to do. Oh, it might just be part of course play maybe. Um, but it would tell you the percentage that your workers are up at, so I could see when the combine's getting full and I can shoot over and empty it. You know, keep it working. Time efficiency and all. Oh, almost get that light pole. Scratch when you trail. Oh, it's unloading. That's a thirty three percent. Yeah, we got plenty of time. Okay, so we've taken another load up. Um, grain. Now, we are actually going to save this little amount. Uh, reason being, we need some... Oops, we've gone too far now. Need some for the pigs. As you can see, we need... Uh, we probably need two or 3,000 litres there. But, uh, and also the corn, so we'll run that up in a minute. The cleanliness now. I had a quick look up. The feed uh, drive over there before the feed's actually everywhere. So we need to go over with like a front loader. Just pull out the way and let this guy keep starting. Go over there with a front loader in a minute. So I'm going to, as you can see, we've got the New Holland seeding this with wheat. Uh, not wheat, uh, we're just doing it with barley this time. So I'm going to grab the other case, which has loader attachments. I think I got them on both. What we'll do is we'll do kill two birds with one stone. And we need the bucket. Go and grab, uh, we'll get corn. This is on the way over. I think we'll fill the corn up. We do need uh, protein as well. That will do. I don't even know if it'll take all this. Oh, that was close. Almost wiped the bucket off. Doesn't actually tell us the percentages. Uh, that each one holds, but um, yeah, we'll cruise on over. But the combine doesn't have a huge amount more to do. It's the last run. Once that combine stops, we'll go and grab it and we'll set it on another field. I 
Not that we're in any huge urgency. Use these cases half die when um only half a load in there. They struggle with yeah. Definitely some old tractors, but the way our economy's going at the moment, we're gonna be using them for quite a while. Um, I'm not really sure what we can do to boost it rapidly. Uh, maybe sheep. We've got pigs going. Maybe we need to get some sheep. We also need some grass then, so... It's another big cost. Maybe we should just buy a few more pigs. Um, we're not going to have as higher productivity if we buy more. Okay, so you can see corn laying on the ground there. Well, it looks like... Um, it is just cornless. Going in, there it is, I think. Not going on the ground, so it has to be going in there. Okay, so it took all the, all of that. How much did that put in? Okay, so the corn's pretty high up there, that's good. Should speed the help the whoa, don't tip it out. Get it back in oops, whoa. Get it back in his feed, which yep, so pretty high up on corn now. Bloody pigs making a mess. Eventually the cleanliness will come back up. Take this trailer over now. We may just take this little trailer up and sell it. Um, soon. I'll go and grab some wheat first. Then we'll go and sell it. Let's pull up here so we're up the steep. And we will... Actually, we'll grab the combine. Unload the combine and we'll start it on the next field, which will be the sunflower. Uh, which isn't a high producing crop, um, which is why it's so valuable. But uh, once there's a bit of demand for it, we'll sell it if we uh, need. We do need a little bit left, once again, for the pigs. Only a massive amount, but we do need some. Need to go and fertilize all this too. So we'll do that later on once he's finished sowing. With these big sowers, it doesn't take long to do the field, as you can see, six meter working width. So we're only rent uh, leasing them, I should say rent lease. It's very similar. Need to go and get the other header for the corn. We'll do that last, I think. Okay, as you can see, it's not hugely, it's not going on very big, it's probably, we may, may not even get a full, um, uh, full combine off of it. We might just have to empty it once, so, before we have to do that, I'll run this up to the train. Okay, so just, uh, I just ran that load of wheat up. Now, I actually came and grabbed a bit more at our silo. I made a quick look. I reckon the pigs probably only need maybe 2,000 tops. And worst case is that'll, oops, where are we? That'll get us through it. So, we've got 1,900 litres here. Worst case, that'll certainly, oh, over the crop. Um, that'll certainly get us through until at least next harvest, uh, obviously, because 
uh, supply on the like the actual meter on the on the food on the storage for each animal's base service for six days supply. So what we're about to give them is going to be more than enough. And yeah, so we just run over here with the wheat. I don't really need this front loader on. I don't know why I didn't drop it. It's extra weight that we don't really need to be carrying. See if I can sling us into a bit of a run up here. This hill's a killer. Try driving in the cab for a change. Can't wait for my steering wheel to turn up. My steering wheel and joystick from Satec. Um, ordered that last, not last week, sorry, the week before. Uh, so it was going to take two weeks to, to ship it to me because it did come from America, through uh, from eBay. There was, I couldn't find it anywhere in the country, uh, which really did shock me. But it's all good. That's coming. So I think that, that was about like 400 or 500 bucks plus... $50 to ship it here, so. It's all good though, it'll be worth it when it gets here. So the only thing we need now, what's that do for the, yeah, so the cleanliness hasn't come up yet, it'll come up. You also know we've got two new, two more pigs, and the time's 840, sorry, eight, 8 hours and 40 minutes for each, for reproduction, so they'll decrease once so cleanliness goes up and the productivity goes up. But I guess that was a pretty good guess, actually. Almost full. I'll just go and grab some a thousand litres of canola. Um, can't do anything about the sugar beets, though, unfortunately. Okay, so I've done a little bit of work. I've sort of got a little bit carried away getting the combining out the way. Um, purely because, well, the fog was in. I wasn't sure it was going to rain. and You can't uh, you can't harvest when it's raining. So I've run a bit of uh, canola over to the pigs. Um, I'll just come to the end of this run. And I'll have a quick look at them. And as you can see, I've done half a field of corn. Corn's still not... Well, actually, I can't remember now how, how much wheat you get off a field like this, but uh, from what I can see, corn is still not an overly great crop to, um, to produce. It's it's just that it's obviously a huge thing for the pigs, so it's, uh, we are going to need some. We may sell a little bit, but I can see there's a bit that... There is Denton Bakery, I think, is the one that's got the um, best price on it, so... Bakery with corn, yeah. So it's paying a bit. Um, we're gonna go and sell this wheat now that we've got on the, the train. Um, now the pig, so we're back up to 90% productivity, 100% cleanliness, uh, with enough water and food apart from the sugar beet and potatoes. That's only 5% of their production, anyway. So, as you can see, we're gonna get a new pig every eight hours, and that'll keep going down the more we get. So, at the moment, we're gonna get three pigs a day. Uh, so it won't take long to produce and uh, then we'll start making uh, money off them well if we ever start selling them but the more obviously the more we have the more they produce so it's better to leave them for a very future ex um, investment uh, yes this bike's finished I've also seeded two fields already um, oops fold this up I uh, did this one with soybean and field 12's got uh, barley in it. So we're not uh, just going wheat, wheat all the time. So did I do, I might have done wheat. Hold on. Yeah, barley over there. So I'm probably going to do 14 with barley as well. Just did soybeans here. Um, the reason we did soybeans is... It looks like they're worth a fair bit um, around the place. Bit of a demand for them. So we did soybeans. I might just do a load of barley. We'll have two big field, uh, fields of barley. 
Um, I think we've got, yeah, we'll even get this going. Over and done with. My wage payment's killing me just from being a little bit lazy today. Um, yeah, we'll leave that there. Alright, so we're up at the shop uh, and we're here to get our bale shredder. We're not going to buy it, we're just going to lease it because it really doesn't cost much. Um, where are we here? It's 25000 to buy. And it's 250 a day. So it's going to cost us about 10% of the cost to lease it. So we're, going to have, we're not going to chill. Actually, we can't even afford it yet. But once we um, can't afford to buy it, once we sell our wheat, we can. But it's, it costs us nothing. And the operating as, I mean, it, it's a bale shredder. We're going to use it every six days and we're going to use it for an hour. So cool. And we just got a nice achievement there into the soil. And that's 10 hectares of sowing, which. I've done about half a hectare, I think, of it myself. So it's been workers. Um, yes, yeah, so we're going to lease it while we're up here. Yes. Helper B has completed their task. Who's Helper B? I don't think so, mate. Pretty sure you've got a bit more to go. Why? Well, yeah, I'm pretty sure you've got a bit more to go, mate. Nice try. You're not knocking off early. Not sure what that fella was thinking. Okay, so let's run this down. We'll go down. We'll get a bail grip. Uh, now I'm not sure if it's actually been noticeable in the videos or not. That's uh, in the in the video in the uh, previously in the episode, but I actually spotted a bale um, in the farm that rolled off the field, which I thought was rather interesting. So we'll go and grab that now. The symbol for this machine was actually a square bale, but I'm pretty sure it's just meant to be straw. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be pissed if otherwise there is absolutely no reason to use round straw bales apart from selling them so I'm pretty confident they'll, they'll work alright in this we probably only need one bale anyway uh, for the straw requirement but get that last bit of productivity while the uh, no it's not our turn uh, while we've got a little bit of sugar beet and potato there but the straw is still 10% so very important It's just up here. Um, yes, yeah, so we'll take this bale up and then we will drive the train around and make some money. Sugar beets. I think it would be better if the train line was closer to the main farm. Like, it, I think it would be a lot better if, like, interacted with your silo, maybe. Um, I, I No doubt someone will have that in a modded map. Uh, the trains are a great touch, I think, to farming simulator. The only thing is, uh, there's also only one cell point on it. Part, well, for, for grain, that is, which is Maplefield. Um... Right here. Um, yeah, it's only got one cell point, so I'm sure there'll be some maps. Oops, there we go, got it. It was a grip. So I'm sure it will happen. There you go, there's that bale right there. That's what we're going to grab. I 
really clasp it all that tight, do they? There we go. I don't think that shreds it instantly once it's on. You've, uh, once you hook on, I think you've got actually. Yep, yeah, you do. Oop, drain tank's full. Oh, I'm probably too far away, am I? Oh, how's that for creative jackknife? Okay, yeah, so that'll be enough. You can now finish off the field. I'll just I'll take this fella down off out of here so he doesn't get in the way of the bloke sewing it as well. Oh, that fog is awesome. Can't see a bloody thing. And yet, we're out working. Men do. Okay. Better turn my headlights on. Don't need them just yet. And we'll actually leave this bale shredder over at the pigs time being we certainly don't need it at the main farm and we have no cows so we'll be a way off of cows I think wow that pipe is annoying could it be in a better spot talk about no vision I've used a couple of tractors when I, I just drove around a few, uh, when I did my uh, tractor episode preview of um, FS17. Some of them have got awesome vision, but gee, some of them are terrible. I'm going to try and get used to getting uh, driving with that. So. Now I reckon we drop straw here. Okay, so let's have a look here. Uh, Open doors, what's that? Ooh, there we go. Here we go. Oh yeah. How does that work? That bale isn't shredded. Close that up. We'll pop this fella over here. See if my backing, terrible backing skills can get it in. Oops, wrong way. Put it hard up against the wall if I can. will do very nicely. I'm actually going to leave this attachment here because I don't need it anywhere else. Leave it here in front of the straw. Beautiful. Okay, set. So pretty much does the pigs. Um, come back, well, well, we'll check this later, but it'll go up to 100%. percent be interesting to know what the speed is then. Um, straw so interesting it only takes just over half a bale with our 20 pigs so see if we can remember that for later okay so we'll drive on over to the train we'll go and sell our wheat make some money oops almost taking the wrong turn it's probably a quicker way to go than I just uh, not really still got to go down yeah, unless we're going to go over the mountains. Okay, so here we are in our train. Let's start this baby up. Let's 
move forward slightly. There we go. Okay, and we want all the wheat. 66,000 litres, thank you. Fill her up. One day we'll have enough to fill this train when we're doing our sail. It'll be interesting. Go on, boy. Actually, how much are we going to get for this? 641 for a ton. Okay, so we're going to get like 30, might get 35,000 for this. That's pretty cool. Okay, we nearly did fill the train. <laughs> oh, we got. 53, 55%, okay. Let's get this on the run. Oh, there's lights on it. Yeah, I like that, that's cool. I like being in the train. Cool if you could walk around in it, but oops, took her off of cruise. That's right, I'll just let it just coast, I think. How far are we from our destination? Oh, we're not far at all. Let's back her down. Back her down to about 30 or 40, yeah, about 40 as we cruise into the uh, mill here. Let it roll. Oh, look at the money going up. Oh, yeah. Back up to what we... <laughs> it's almost what we spent this week. <laughs> oh, sorry, today. It's kind of cool. All right, so 42000 from that harvest. Uh, we did have a little bit of wheat in left over, didn't we? We had about 38,000 litres in there as well. So we got 30,000 litres off, off that big field. I filled 12. Yeah, that's not too bad. All right. I think we'll, uh, very fitting on the train. We'll wind up there, I think. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the content, check us a like. Please subscribe to be notified of the next video. Uh, feel free to leave a comment in the section below, and I'll see you all in the next video.